Good evening. Hello, Victor. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I am fine. And you? Excellent. Fine. Thank you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. See. Okay, perfect, Victor. So we are five minutes uh, before class in order to wait for people to come. So meanwhile, I would like to ask you if uh, it has been possible for you to advance in the platform, Victor? Uh, no, no, no. No yet. You you have not advanced. In Spanish, se lo voy a decir. Ah, okay. Okay. So it sí, means sí. that you have advanced and you have complete every day up to date, right? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes. So I'm asking because little by little we are going closer to the end of the course, so we we will need to be to make sure that all of you are working in the platform, right? And that you are uh, accomplishing all the knowledge check, uh, the midterm exam that we already did, and later the final exam, okay? Okay. Excellent. Uh, so uh, let me share my screen for today. Meanwhile, people is coming. Just to make sure you can watch it. So just wait for me for a minute. Okay, there it is. Can you watch my complete screen, Victor? Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So we are going to wait just a couple of minutes because people is connecting. So um, basically we are going to continue with last night vocabulary and then we are going to introduce two new words. Hello, Miguel, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Miguel is getting connected. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Joao. Okay, people is coming. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. Hello, uh, Joao, and hello, Miguel. It's good to have you here. Welcome. We are waiting just waiting just a couple of minutes for people to connect. So we are going. Then we are going to start the class. Okay, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for being here. Okay. Okay, uh, Joao and, and Miguel, um, I just would like to know if you have advanced in the platform and if you are okay working on it. ¿Estamos bien con la plataforma, Joao? Sí, sí, teacher. Eh, comentarle de que estaba eh, hablando ayer con mis compañeros, ¿verdad? De la sesión que hicimos, que me escribieron, ¿verdad? Los de inglés corporativo, quizás porque pensaron que no entendía las cosas. Pero la verdad es que no me había acabado un tiempo de ponerme al día, pero sí voy al día con la plataforma. I know. Excellent. Thank you, Joao. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Excellent. So, um, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello, Wendy. I mean, Vicky. Hello, Raquelita. Hello, Morena. It's good to have you here. Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Welcome. Hello. I'm very Hello, happy teacher. to have you here. Hello. Okay, my dears, in honor to you that uh, always come early, I'm going to start because just uh, it's eight o'clock. So for today, we are going to continue with the 4.2 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are. And additionally, you will learn how to use expressions uh, the expression some and any. So it means that we are going to have um, a very wide practice about some and any. Uh, in the platform, you have a video in the 4.3 section that says some and any. And basically it talks about 
about counts and non-count nouns. And then you have a conversation. How about some sandwiches, right? So um, in here, um, you can uh, have examples. For example, do we need any eggs? Let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. And do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. In this case, talking about bread. Uh, yes uh, or no, we don't need any bread, right? So uh, in this case, in the platform, the video talks about eggs, which is accountable. Sandwich, the word sandwich is accountable because you can count one, two, three, four, five sandwiches. But uh, the not, non counts are bread and lemonade because you have to move it into a um, into a measure in order, for example, one glass of lemonade, uh, one loaf of bread, and so on, in order that uh, this can be measured. So uh, you have there also the explanation about uh, that a noun can be a person, a place, or a thing. So uh, there you have countable nouns and non-countable nouns. Okay, um, we have the knowledge check, but I think that we are going to come a little bit later uh, to this exercise in order that we can uh, conclude after the class. So I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to share the presentation that I have for you tonight. So let's share. I'm going to expand a little bit. And I would like to that you can confirm if you can watch this new screen. Can you watch this new screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, yes. perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, here we teacher. have see? Yes, tell me. Hola, hola. Alguien me habló. Eh, no sé quién era. Alguien, alguien me abordó, pero no sé quién era. Bueno, eh, me, me interrumpen si necesitan algo o me lo dicen en el chat. Eh, con mucho gusto atiendo. Ok, very good. So, we have countable nouns, right? Eh, we have a singular and plural form. Eh, when, eh, eh, for example, uh, can use a singular verb or a plural verb. Here, we can count a tree. We can count two trees. And we can say the book is old. In this case, I need to see that if I'm talking about a singular thing, right, only one thing, it means that the verb needs to have concordance with the noun that I'm talking about. So if I have only one noun, the right form of the verb to be that I'm going to use is S, right? Excuse me. But if I say the books, the books are old, in this case, I'm talking about a plural, right? I have here the letter S, so I know that I'm talking about many books, more than one. And then I have to use the right form of the verb to be for the case of the plural, in this case, are the books are old, right? Uh, for the uncountable nouns, we only have one form. It means singular. Uh, we don't have plural forms for uncountable nouns. And then we always use a singular verb. We cannot use any modifier like a, an, or a number before, before them because they are uncountable nouns. So we say butter. We cannot say a butter or we cannot say butters, right? And then we can say butter is delicious, or you say sugar is sweet, but you cannot say ah, sugar or uh, sugars. No, no, no. In order to do that, you have to measure the sugar. Uh, for example, you can say a pound, a pound of sugar or uh, a kilogram of sugar, right? And in that case, you are measuring the, the way uh, no matter the redundance, the way you measure the sugar, right? You cannot say a rice to rice. No, no, no. You say rice. Okay. Bread. You say, you cannot say a bread or two bread. No, you say bread only when you measure a loaf of bread, right? 
in that case only. Uh, uncountable nouns are often, for example, abstract ideas. It, those are things that you cannot touch. For example, love, freedom, education, luck, help, beauty, music, thunder. All of them are abstract ideas that you can talk about them, but you cannot touch them, you, you cannot uh, um, count them one by one. It means uncountable nouns. Uh, then you have uh, made of a smaller parts. For example, sugar. Sugar is made of very, very smaller parts. You cannot imagine how many parts do we have in a pound of sugar. So uh, the same happens with rice, the same happens with salt, sand, flour, dirt, dust, traffic, grass, spaghetti. So you cannot count those small parts, therefore they are uncountable nouns and you need an extra um, way of measure them. Some food, for example, that uh, this is the case similar to the previous that you cut it into small parts, right? For example, bread, fish, cheese, chocolate, meat, bacon, food in general, and ham, right? Uh, liquids and gases, for example, water, milk, wine, oil, coffee, rain, soup, um, air, smoke, blood. Ju juice, fog. And then we have other materials like wood, glass, paper, gold, silver, ice, iron, cotton, wool, steel. Um, be careful because in English also uh, an uncountable furniture, advice, work, news, information, luggage, and money. Okay, you can say teacher, but how is possible that money can be uncountable? Money itself is an uncountable noun, but when you start counting it in, in a currency, currency equals to moneda, right? So for example, if the currency is dollars, you can say $1, $2, $3, $4, but money as a concept is uncountable. So, I would like to know if you have questions about this. Me gustaría saber si tenemos preguntas hasta acá sobre esto de countable and uncountable. Teacher, entonces a las, a las uncountable son que no les podemos agregar ese, ¿verdad? Eh, las uncountable usted no les puede agregar, ciertamente, los modifiers, uh -huh. los, los quantifiers que son a, an, ¿verdad? Eh, tampoco puede eh, considerar los plurales, ¿verdad? Sino que siempre va a ser singular. Eh, y hasta que usted los pasa a una unidad de medida, entonces sí ya lo puede contar. Eh, in the case of sugar or salt, you can say one pound, una libra, ¿verdad? One pound of sugar, one pound of salt, two pounds of sugar, two pounds of salt. But you have to to join it or to gather it into a, into a major um, unit, right? Tenemos que ponerlos en una unidad de medida para poderlos contar eh, uno por uno, ¿verdad? Porque okay. está hecho de, de, de muchas partes pequeñas, como dice el concepto. So, they are uncountable itself, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. por ejemplo, eh, if you ask me, um, eh, por ejemplo, sugar, Eh, no me dice how many sugar in your coffee. Usted me pregunta how much sugar do you prefer in your coffee. Entonces uh -huh. yo para responderle tengo que utilizar una unidad de medida y le digo one, one teaspoon or two teaspoons, right? Una cucharadita, ¿verdad? Tetera de las chiquitas o dos y pero ya lo 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 yeah, metí yeah, yeah. una unidad de medida, ¿sí? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, excellent. You. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue. I have here uh, another definition and extra examples. Like here, it says countable nouns. Nouns you can count. You can use a an in front of countable nouns. For example, a book, right? A book is something that I can count. This is my book, right? Let's imagine that this is a book, right? This is my book. Uh, I can count a glass. 
right? I can say a glass or one glass, right? But the water inside the glass is uncountable. So uh, the nouns that have a plural form, for example, three sausages, you can count one, two, three, four, five sausages, and you have the units uh, separated. They are not small parts, they are units uh, joined. Okay, um, the next says uncountable nouns. Those are nouns that you can't. Remember to pronounce well, can't. You can't count. Normally, you can't use uh, on in front of uncountable nouns. For example, beef is expensive. Es decir, la carne, verdad, de res es cara. But I'm not measure, uh, measuring in that, in that, uh, expression, but I can say one kilogram of beef, or I can say one pound of beef, right? Nouns that normally don't have a plural form. Uh, for example, I want roast beef, right? So they don't have a plural form. Uh, here, uh, you have uh, the food, uh, and countable and uncountable, right? Uh, for example, in the food, you can have bun, sandwich, apple, orange, burger, fries, eggs, salad, vegetable, cookies, uh, potatoes, tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olive, peanuts, pancakes. Here we have an onion, then a watermelon, pea, grapes, and cherries. So all of them, you can count them one, one by one, right? You can say uh, a bun, a sandwich, an apple, an orange, two oranges, three oranges, four burgers, six burgers, uh, etc. You can count one by one. In the case of uncountable, you have bread. Un unless you can say one slice of bread, la rodajita, la slice, esa sí la puede contar or the loaf, la, eh, digamos, la, la, eh, ¿cómo le digo? Loaf es como eh, la, la hoja entera, pero es que no se dice hoja, en español se me ha olvidado. Pero es ¿La lasca? La lasca, esa es la palabra correcta, la lasca completa de pan. Gracias, thank you very much. Fruit, fruit itself. Uh, you can count it. You can say one banana, two bananas, three bananas, uh, one apple, two apples, three apples. But, for example, if you offer me and you say, excuse me, mom, would you like some fruit for, for your breakfast? I mean, some, some fruit, yes, yeah, some fruit for your breakfast. In that case, it becomes uncountable because it's mixed. You can serve a mix of fruit. So that in that case, it's uncountable. Juice. In the case of juice, you need to measure like one, uh, one cup of juice or one glass of juice, yeah? And depending on the measure, right? Uh, meat, it's uncountable. Rice, cereal, you, it's very difficult to count the small uh, pieces of cereal, right? Uh, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour, milk, uh, as I said before, yeah, this is, um, uh, let's see, milk and maybe, um, I don't know, maybe this can be, um, Salsa. yeah, this can be sausages. I don't know exactly what's the, the, the drawing, but it seems that can be uh, some uh, salsa uh, or sauce, I mean sauce or some honey maybe, or some, any other uh, element, salt, soup. Tea, cottage cheese, pasta, honey, water, cheese, butter, seafood. This can be oil also, right? Mustard, right? Uh, so all of them are uncountable nouns. Unless you say one bottle of oil, for example, or one bottle of, uh, let's see, that is honeybee, right? Um, let's see. Here I have the modifiers. What are the modifiers? A, an, some, any. 
I think that we have already studied these um, modifiers, but I would like to remind you. We normally use a when the word that we are modifying starts with a consonant. For example, I can say, there is a bottle on the table. No problem because bottle starts with a consonant. But if the word I have starts with a vowel, like apple, I have to use an in order to avoid a very, um, uh, we can say, um, not, not good sound in the sentence. It sounds like it's strange, a apple. It's like uh, in, the Span in the Spanish, a cacophono, right? Uh, so you have to say, there is an apple on the table. You have uh, the other modifier, some. In the case of some, remember that we always, always use some for affirmative sentences. I can say, there is some cheese in the fridge. And uh, only in certain exceptions, like uh, when I offer or when I ask for something or when I suggest, I can use some in questions. For example, would you like some coffee? You are expecting that my answer is, is yes, please. Uh, or if I say, can I take some fruit? and you are expecting, and I'm, I am expecting that your answer is yes, please. Or why don't we go, uh, or why don't we do some snacks uh, for the afternoon? You expect that the answer of the people you're asking is yes, uh, let's do it, right? When you expect an affirmative answer of your offering, of your request, or your suggestion. Only in these three cases, you can use in exception uh, some for questions, but normally it's used for only affirmative sentences. Any. In the case of any, you can use any for negative and also for questions. You can say there isn't any cheese in the fridge, right? There isn't any cheese in the fridge. Is there any cheese in the fridge? In the first case is no hay nada de queso or no hay queso en el refrigerador. That's the, the first case in the negative. And in the question is oh, similar. Uh, is there any cheese in the fridge? But it becomes uh, algo. Hay algo de queso, verdad, en el refrigerador, right? So you can use it in the negative sentence, but also in the question. So I have here uh, in a chart, you can use uh, for countable singular, a, an, right? Uh, a, an, it can be used for affirmative, for negative, and for questions, no problem. But only remember that this is for singular because the meaning is uno, una, right? Singular. Uh, we use some in any for countable plural right? Countable plural, it means more than one. And you can use, as I said before, some only for affirmative sentences. And you can use any for negatives and for questions, right? And you can use uh, some and any for uncountable nouns. Remember that some is only for affirmative sentences and any for negatives and questions you cannot use any for affirmative sentences. So uh, as I said before, the exceptions to the rule is for some, only when you offer uh, something, when you ask for something or when you suggest, but when you expect that the answer is yes. Okay, here, uh, I would like to ask you, according to what we have been studying, I'll give you one minute to read it. Le voy a dar un minuto para leer la pantalla. And I need that uh, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 um, difficulties. So I would like to ask you, please, um, look for a minute, the, read the concepts, the words, and that you, I will need volunteers in order to answer if it's a countable or uncountable. 
So. Let's see, how is it going? Do we have a volunteer? This uh -huh. is un it's uncountable. Uncountable, right? This is an uncountable. Okay, coffee, what about coffee? Uncountable. Um, uncountable right unless you say one cup of coffee in this case it changes but if you're measuring mm -hmm. coffee only it's mm -hmm. uncountable right okay very good uh, what about pear countable 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 because you can count one two three four five pairs right what about melon countable countable, countable. And um, you already said coffee, that it's uncountable. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Countable. 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 Countable, because you can count them one by one. Okay, and jam? Uncountable. Uncountable, yes, very good. And bread? What about bread? Uncountable. Uncountable, Uncountable. yes, excellent. And peach, what about peach? Countable. 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 Yeah. And tea? Countable. Listen, a cup of tea. Countable. Countable. Yes, because you're counting a, a cup of tea, okay? It's only one. Okay, milk. Uncountable. Un uncountable. Yes, uncountable. Onion. Countable. Excellent. And pork? What about pork? It's like a uh, meat. Yes, it's similar to meat. Uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable in that case because it's similar to beef, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a glass of milk. Countable. Countable. Yes, it's similar to a cup of tea, right? And butter. What about butter? Uncountable. Uncountable. Excellent. Very good. Congratulations. This, this club is for you because you did a great job identifying which of those nouns are countable and uncountable. Excellent. So let's continue. Uh, here, I have here uh, filling the gaps with one, uh, with a, an, or some. In this case, we are going to use the quantifiers, right? So, um, uh, because there are a lot, uh, yeah, yeah, but we have enough time. So uh, we are going to send the image and I will join you in the breakout room. So you will have more chance to read it, to discuss it, and to see new words, okay? So if you can take a picture, it's going to be okay. If not, I'm sending it to you right now. Okay, so did you receive the image? Yes. Okay, so let me answer. Okay, somebody is having problem with the internet at home. I understand that, so don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, let me stop sharing and let's join in the breakout room. So we will have like five groups. And I would like to please join to the groups and discuss what could be the right modifiers, if a, an, or some, depending on the sentence um, nouns and context. Okay, please join. Please join now the invitation.
que el am se utiliza cuando la que sigue suena como vocal. Sí, sí pero biscuit es bueno, con B. Bueno. Ah, no, pero tendría que ser A. A. Que ser A. Uh -huh. Do you have llaman? questions? Excuse me that I interrupt you. I'm just going around watching and see. I would like to see if you have questions to help you. No yet? Uh, yes. Uh, en la primera donde dice I, can I have? Yes, that's a question. Can I have? But look, uh, there's a key that you have to look for. Uh, you have to look if the word is uh, in singular or in plural. In this case, you have biscuit, right? Yes, yes? biscuit so, yes. is if plural. It's plural, what do you think is the best answer? A, an, or some? Some. Some, some biscuits and? Glass of milk, please. Ah, okay. An, um, an. This, an. Why an? Ah. Ah, a glass of milk, please. Yes, a because glass, glass, glass starts with G, so there is no vowel, right? Yeah. Right. So you need yeah. to be you need to be careful in order to identify if the noun is singular or plural, right? That's the first mm. thing you have to look for. And the okay. second thing is if the if the noun starts with a consonant or with a vowel, if you're going to use a or an. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Excellent, my dear. So I'm going to leave you now because I need to look for the other groups. So I will come back later. Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Como dice, glass of milk es vaso de leche, entonces sería... Eh, Plural. Se logra contar, any. son dos. Ajá. Sería... Hello. 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 Hello, Hello, my dears. I listen, you're discussing the word glass, right? Yes. So, do you think glass is singular or plural? Uh, Glass is singular. Singular. Yes, it's singular because if you have glasses with is plural. Yes, is plural. So in this case, if you have glass, you have to use a or an. An. Why? Oh no, eh, uh, a, a. glass. Como es a. Yes. Entonces diría, can I have an biscuit and a glass of milk? No, look, uh, tell me, biscuits, do you think this is singular or plural? Plural. It's plural. So when we have a plural, do we have to use a, an, or some? Some. Yes. So in this case, you say, can I have some biscuit, biscuits and a glass? A glass. I use a because glass starts with a, a consonant, right? So I don't need to have a, a, an N. So I say, can I have some biscuits and a glass of milk, please? Okay. Yeah. So, Entonces, the, uh -huh, adelante. Entonces, estamos hablando que biscuits es uno nada más. No, es plural. Son varios. Son varios. Ajá. Eh, si no tuviera la S, estaríamos hablando de only one. De uno. Sí, pero aquí tiene la S. En el caso... Ah, sí, en el caso de que en el caso de Glass, eh, yo les preguntaba al inicio si ustedes creían que era singular o plural, porque este podría ser un poco tricky, ¿verdad? Porque tiene la S, pero recuerden que eh, el plural es glasses. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, en el primer caso, biscuit, si es plural, entonces tengo que utilizar some. Y en el segundo caso, glass es eh, singular, entonces tengo que utilizar a. ¿Por qué utilizo a y no an? Porque la porque palabra... Es porque la palabra glass comienza con G. No necesito poner an. Cuando la siguiente palabra comienza con, con, con una vocal, por ejemplo, a apple, no puedo decir a apple, digo an apple. Ah. Eh, cuando voy a decir, por ejemplo, eh, an elephant, no puedo decir a elephant, digo an elephant. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? 
Eh, Teacher, no eso es igual como la regla, de... la regla de aquella duda que yo tenía en el ejercicio. Sí. Eh, que me la... apare... uh -huh. Perdón. Espérame, que lo ando buscando. A ver, dime. Eh, ah, que era an easy, porque easy empe empezaba con vocal, me dijo usted. Exactamente. Entonces, solo uh -huh. que... Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. Incluso con hour, fíjense que hour comienza con H, pero si ajá. usted ve la H es muda. Entonces yo le digo a usted, I see you in an hour. No le digo, I see you in a hour, porque ah, se oh, oye cacófono. Ah, Entonces no hour. es tanto con, no es tanto al final con qué comienza, si es vocal eh, o consonante, sino el sonido. O sea, con qué sonido uh -huh. inicia la siguiente palabra. ¿Sí? Uh, apple, an apple. Uh, Se dice sí, an claro. apple, an elephant, an hour, an eye, an iso, uh, an igloo. Everything that starts with a consonant, I mean with vowel sound, uh, needs an. Entonces la, la regla sí. para memorizársela es todo lo que inicia con sonido de vocal necesariamente tiene que ser an. An. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. If you have, if you don't have extra questions by now, I'm going to leave you, and I will go around the other groups. Groups, but I will come back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You can thank continue you. working together. Okay. See you in a minute. I want some cheese and ham sandwich today. Mm -hmm. Para mí sería son. Son. Mm -hmm. Ajá, porque como un poco, o sea, como no, como que no me puede contar. Sí. Vaya el otro. Vamos por el uno, dos, tres, cuatro. What do you like? What do you like? Hello. Aquí sería él. Hello, is teacher. Every, is everything Hello. okay, my dears? Do you need help? Do you have any doubt that you would like my help? Eh, con la primera tenía un poco de duda, teacher. Okay, tell eh, me. Okay, sería, can I have a biscuit in some glass? O sería in, in, in glass? Okay, look, biscuits is singular, right? Biscuits yes, yes. is plural, excuse me, it's plural. If it's plural. It's plural right. because it has an S. Biscuit uh, with no S is one. But biscuits with S means more than one. Two, three, four, right? Entonces, la palabra eh, biscuits es una palabra francesa, si no estoy mal. Uh -huh. Pero sí, sí, lleva sí. una letra S. Entonces significa uh -huh. que estamos hablando de más de uno. Es plural. Entonces para uh -huh. plural tengo que utilizar a, a N. or some. Uh -huh. Correcto, correcto. Some, utilizo Ajá. some, ¿verdad? Entonces diría, can I have some biscuits in a glass? Ah, a okay. glass of milk. ¿Por qué a glass? Porque el sonido con el que inicia la siguiente, eh, la palabra glass no es una vocal, es una consonante. Entonces utilizo a. Uh -huh. y o sea, que en este, glass en este caso, no Ajá. es plural. Glass no es plural, es solo uno. Para decir no. vasos, tengo que decir glasses y le agrego la uh -huh. ES, glasses. Ok, en este caso, digamos, cuando es como plural, sería el que utilizamos some. Cuando es plural, utilizamos some y cuando es singular, utilizamos a an. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Nada, perdón, cuando okay. es singular, utilizamos a an y cuando es plural, utilizamos plural. some. Some, ok. Eh, pero ok, okay teacher, es, thank eh, you. En lo utilizamos cuando el sonido siguiente es una eh, vocal. Consonante. Vocal. Ah, perdón, una vocal. El, en. Y, sí. e, y la otra se utiliza cuando es una consonante, ¿verdad? El A siempre que es una consonante y el okay. N siempre que es una vocal. Y okay. son para plurales, a AN para singulares. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. You're Thank welcome. You. See you in a minute. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahora sí nos sacó de la duda. Hello, hello. How is it going? 
Hello, teacher. Hello, here. teacher. ¿Todo bien por acá? So, so. <laughs> so, so, okay. I'm here just to ask you if you have any doubt or question or comment that, I, that you would like that I help you. Eh, no, solo lo que eh, nos habíamos confundido, ¿verdad? porque nosotros, uh -huh. eh, well, in the first, in the letter A, uh -huh. eh, we can wrote, eh, can I have some, but is the question. Yes, it's a question. And it's plural, and it's plural. Entonces, okay. en la primera es any, nosotros decimos que es any, any biscuits. Eh, pero está, está pidiendo, si usted se fija, está pidiendo algo, entonces esa es la excepción. Ahí sí puedo utilizar ah, son, porque estoy pidiendo. Ah, ¿Sí? okay, entonces okay, yo digo, okay. ¿can I have some biscuits? Some biscuit, biscuit, uh -huh. biscuits, uh -huh, biscuits. Ajá, biscuits. Ajá, porque es plural. En a glass. En a glass, a glass. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Milk, please. Yes. Entonces, teacher, um, es cuando nosotros pedimos algo. Solo ahí sí se puede utilizar en preguntas son. La excepción ah. es cuando yo pido algo, eh, cuando pido, digamos, eh, ayuda. Eh, 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 could you please help me? Okay, can, a ver, déjenme ver. Por uh -huh. aquí les mandé, es que le estoy, le estoy refiriendo mal eh, ese ejemplo. Uh -huh. Eso lo vamos a ver después. Vaya, eh, la regla lo que decía era, Ajá. solo que no le voy a poder compartir acá, no, pero, pero es creo que la cuando, tengo ya. ahí está, cuando yo pido, aquí la tengo ya. When I offer, cuando yo le, cuando yo le vaya, por ejemplo, would you like some, would you like some Ajá. coffee please, cuando yo le ofrezco, ¿sí? Would Ajá. you like some tea, would you like some coffee, ok. Cuando yo le pido, Ajá. que es en el caso que estamos viendo ahí. Can I have uh -huh. some, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, o, cuando uh -huh. yo le, o cuando yo le sugiero, why don't we buy some uh, bananas? ¿Por qué no compramos uh -huh. una banana? Entonces, en esos tres casos únicamente, yo puedo utilizar ah. some con preguntas. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, ok. okay, okay. Yes. ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Entonces, la, la H, la H, what you like, some. Letter H, let me go there. Hey, yes. you like Would you some. like some strawberries or some grapes? Some grapes. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm, In both mm -hmm. cases, is some. ¿Te gustarían it's algunas some. fresas o algunas uvas? Uh, uvas. Mm -hmm. okay. because, because we are offering. En ese caso, yo le estoy ofreciendo. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Mm -hmm. ajá, ajá. Mm -hmm. Cuando yes. se pide, cuando se ofrece, cuando se sugiere. Exacto. Exactly. Ah, you, okay. you did it great. Usted lo dijo exactamente. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Dears. You're welcome. Okay, see you in a minute. Lo veo en un minutito, ¿ok? Ok, ok. okay. okay. Ya hemos terminado. <laughs> Bye. Ok. No nos han llamado. Hello, oh, my dears. Did you Hello, Hello. teacher. ¿Terminaron uh, ya? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah. So efficient. Efficient. Uh, I'm sorry that I am here in, until the end, but I have a lot of consultation in the other groups. So I congratulate you that you already finished. But yeah. if you have questions, you can ask me. Yes, I have some uh, do because yeah. uh, in letter A. Yeah. I think is the color is I like an egg and some cereals for breakfast. It's okay. Let's see. What letter? Letter A. Yes. I I, I, I like that's I I I like I I I'd like uh, egg an, an egg an egg. An egg. An egg because uh -huh. it, the, it starts with a vowel sound, right? Yes. An egg um, and some cereals. And some cereals for, for breakfast. breakfast. Yes. It's yes. correct? It's correct. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay. No question.
Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for coming back from the breakout rooms. Um, I would like that we can start the plenary by saying how was the experience of answering these questions? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia de responder estas preguntas, chicos? En okay. algunas ocasiones, teacher, <laughs> confusa, pero lo pudimos resolver entre todos. Excellent. That's why you are a great team. Okay, excellent. We can use the logic. Yes, that's good <laughs> because it means that you, you, you are being empowered with the language, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, uh, who would like to start with the letter A? Can I have? Hi. So, yeah. so, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Miguel, I think Miguel was... A, was can I have uh -huh. some biscuit and a glass of milk, please? Okay, so I'm going to, it will take me some time because I will be adding the, the answer, but okay, it's going to be okay. Can I have some biscuits and a glass of milk, please? Yes, that's right. A glass of milk because we don't need N because glass starts with a consonant sound, okay? And some here because biscuits is plural, right? Excellent, thank you, Miguel. Okay, uh, I need volunteer for number two, for letter B, I mean. I. Okay, please, my dear. I, I like some sausage. Yeah. Um, some eggs, please. Okay, excellent. In this case, we are talking about plural, right? So that's why we are using the, um, Quantifier some. Thank you. Okay, letter C. Who wants to continue? I, okay, please go ahead. Um, seria some. I want some mm -hmm. cheese and ham sandwich today. Excellent. I want some cheese and ham sandwich today. Yes. Um, let's see. Oops, it's a little bit. Okay. Okay, letter D. Who wants to answer letter D? Mm -hmm. Hi. Yes, please. Would you like an apple mm -hmm. or a pear? Excellent. An apple because the, the word apple starts with a vowel consonant. So you have to use N. Excellent. Um, letter E, who wants to? Hi. Okay, please go ahead. I want some chocolate ice cream with my fruit salad. Okay, in this case, if you see ice cream, it's only one, right? It's singular. So we will use A. Ah, I want a chocolate ice cream, only one, with my fruit salad, right? Because if okay. in, if you in, if you, if here it could say um, ice creams right with a letter S here it's plural but in this case it's singular. Okay, thank you, my dear. Let's see next. Let's, let me move here. Okay, letter F. Who wants to continue with letter F? I like. A steak, a steak, a steak, a uh steak, -huh. a steak, some rice, no, some rice, yes, and a green salad, and a green salad, excellent. Okay, do you want some? Yes. Um, Remember that we said that we use some for affirmative sentences, but also we use some as exception when we are offering something, right? And this is the case. In this case, I'm offering, do you want some cheap chips with your chicken? So I'm offering, so that's why I can use some in a question like this. Excellent, thank you. Okay, uh, H, letter H. Would you like? Some some strawberries because it's plural right and or some grapes or some grapes yes i'm talking about plural also grapes okay i'd like 
and and aha uh -huh. because the vowel the next uh, sound start with a vowel so we use and i'd like an egg and some yes and some um. cereals for breakfast okay letter um j Can I have some? Okay, can I have some? I can um, a milk, some, pardon, can I, some. Can I have some milk or? Some juice. Some juice. Yes, or some juice, please. Excellent. Okay, would you like beer? Um, beer. A beer. Beer, cerveza. A beer. Some? Would you like some? Only one, because uh, would you, would you if it's two, we say beer. beers. Ah. Okay, would you like a beer? Would you like a beer or would you prefer? Uh, uh, a glass, a glass of, of wine. wine. A, glass. a glass of water, yes, that's right. So in this case, I'm offering right but it, we are talking about only one thing okay um excellent so let me see would you like wine? Uh, wine. Mm, wine. some wine yes some so, wine like some wine because it's uncountable remember yeah some, some wine. wine yes would you like some wine and cheese and um, some cheese. Some cheese, because in this case, cheese is mm -hmm. uncountable, mm -hmm. right? All are uncountable. Yes. Remember that we use a and only for countable things, things that you can count, one, two, three, four. But we use some with uncountable, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, some cheese too. I, uh, want, I want some, some ham, ham. ham. Yeah. Yes. and uh, a butter. Yes. A uh, butter. So, sería uh, some, some um, butter. Because you have uh, a bar uh, and from the bar you just will take just a few. So some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, some butter for my toast, please. Do you want sausages or would you prefer steak? Sausages. And uh, you can count Sal salchicha. Some, uh, salchicha. Uh, some, 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 you, some, some, you, some, you, some, you can count. Las podemos contar, uh -huh. verdad? Las uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Or would you prefer steak? Ah, steak. Yes. Steak. Un bistec. Okay. Very good. Excellent. You did an excellent job. Congratulations. This clap is for you, my dears. You did a great job by identifying the modifier for countable and, and uncountable nouns. You also identify singular and plural nouns, okay? Uh, so uh, this is going to be included in the material that I will send to you, that, that I will uh, upload uh, this week. So you will have it. So I'm going to stop sharing this because I need to go back to the presentation of the platform. Because if you remember, we have there an exercise. So I would like that you can confirm that you can watch it. Podemos ver la, la nueva pantalla? Yes, we sure. Okay, so let me start. Okay. Here it says, uh, complete the conversation with some or any, right? Aquí ya no estamos utilizando tanto el modifier, sino que recordando que some is for affirmative sentences and in some cases uh, for questions only when we say when you're offering, when you are requesting uh, or when you're suggesting, right? Cuando yo ofrezco algo, cuando yo pido algo o cuando yo sugiero algo, esperando que la respuesta sea así, eh, yo puedo utilizar some en preguntas, pero usualmente es solo para affirmative sentences, ¿ok? Let's make some. Yes, eh, y any lo utilizamos para 
questions and negative sentences, right? So here, in Amanda says, and so you have to complete the conversation with some or any. So Amanda says, the store doesn't have any potato salad, right? Adam says, well, we have yeah. lots of potatoes. Let's make, make some. Some, right? Uh, Amanda says, okay, do we have? Yeah. Question. Any. Any. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, says Adams. We need to buy some. Some. En este caso, some, porque el, después de la coma, el no fue una respuesta cortita y después de la coma, si se fija, es una oración afirmativa. We need to buy some. Ok. Eh, Amanda says, we need onions too. Esa es una oración afirmativa, entonces es some, ¿verdad? We need some onions too. ¿Ok? Mm. ¿Sí? Y Adam yes. says, oh, I don't want... I don't any. want any onions. Any. Idea, porque aquí se es negativa. Dice, yo no quiero mm -hmm. ninguna cebolla. I don't want any mm -hmm. onions. No, I, I hate onions. <laughs> so, I he doesn't onions. want to. Ok. Uh, so, Amanda says, then let's get celery. Some. Some. some ¿verdad? Porque some es celery. afirmativa, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. And then Adam says, no, no I don't want... I don't want <laughs> Any, 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 any salary in, in my potato, my potato mm -hmm. salad. So he doesn't uh, like also. So mm -hmm. Adam says, but let's put. But let's put some apples. Some apples. In it. In it. Vea, y luego Amanda dice, apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Very different situation. They are they disagree with the with the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dears, and that's it. So we are going to finish the class today here because of the time. But tomorrow we will continue with the 2.5 uh, lesson objective, and then we are going to learn a little bit about um, uh, we will learn about common breakfasts and foods in different countries and some differences and then we are going to continue with the uh, adverbs right so do you have some questions so far tenemos preguntas hasta aquí remember that you will receive the extra material and you need to go also to the platform in order to watch the videos and to complete the knowledge check mm -hmm. we already started necesitamos que vayan a la okay. plataforma a ver los videos y que puedan completar ese knowledge check que acabamos de estar discutiendo Okay, okay my dears, if you don't have questions so far and because of the time, I thank you very much for coming to class today. I hope you can be safe and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay? See Bye, you teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.